He's Roddy White, their star wide receiver. He joins us now. Did you watch the game last night, Roddy? Uh, I watched a little bit of it. What'd you think? Um, it was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't nothing really, really special. I think uh, Aaron Foster did a heck of a job running, rushing the football. And uh, they just made mistakes here and mistakes there. They had a chance to win it, though. How do you think the Falcons would stack up with the Texans? I think it'll be a good matchup. You know, they're so sound defensively, and they do a lot of good things on defense, and they just got a lot of good players on defense. And uh, they can run the ball, you know, and um, they got a good quarterback, you know, good wideouts and things like that. So it'll be it'll be a real good matchup. What's the difference with the Falcons this year as opposed to the last two years? Uh, I just think we're more focused. You know, we're more focused, we're more locked in. You know, we know our, this is our time. We need to, uh, you know, set ourselves up to be in a great position in the playoffs. So we want to go out there and win a bunch of games so we can have a home playoff game and hopefully get one, you know, when we get to the postseason. But I'm looking at your team. I don't know if – I wondered why you guys didn't load up with a marquee defensive player in the draft, although I think Coach Nolan's done an unbelievable job. It just seems like a different defense there. And you've had injuries uh, with that defense. Why are they better this year as opposed to last year? I think the scheme has a lot to do with it. You know, he's doing a heck of a job of just – you know, there's no real position where there's those guys. They, they just line up everywhere, and then they come, you know, and um, that's kind of difficult for quarterbacks. And, you know, all off season we had to go against those guys, and we barely could read the coverage of what they were doing. <laughs> so, I mean, you got six, five, you know, four days to prepare for it. It's kind of tough. <laughs> He's Roddy White, Falcons wide receiver, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. I uh, I heard Matt Ryan doesn't want to be called Matty Ice anymore. Why? I guess he's grown out of it. <laughs> what's his What's his nickname? What do you guys call him? We just call him. Um, we just call him Matt. You know, we don't have a nickname for him. We just call him the man with three first names. <laughs> what's his middle name? <laughs> Matthew. I mean Matthew uh, Thomas Ryan. So the man with three first names. I'm going to use that on the highlights next Sunday night. The man, because I, I mentioned on NBC uh, Sunday night, I said, uh, you know, Matt Matt Ryan, he doesn't want to be called Matty Ice anymore. I guess he's grown up now. Now in his fifth year, so he's now matured as a quarterback. I, I guess so. <laughs> Does he give me when you know he's mad at you? What's he do? Uh, what's he do? He, oh man, he he really gets mad. He really gets mad at me. You know. Um, I don't, I don't really make a mad. But we have had a couple of stare downs. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. We we just dap each other up after that and, and laugh and, and joke about it. What was the play call on that uh that throw against Carolina that he threw, you know, sixty yards? Oh, uh oh we just wanted to take a shot. You what? know, and uh Well wait a minute, what's the play called? Is it just Roddy go deep as far as you can, I'll throw it? Uh, no, it's actually uh uh out and up. So, um, and he said, go get the ball rather than make a play. <laughs> that was it. That's the play. That's the play. So you got in the huddle and he said, Roddy, go, go make a play. He said, Roddy, go get this. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on the start so far. Um, yeah. How's Julio Jones been? How does that make you, how does that change you as a wide receiver? Oh man, he's doing an excellent job. You know, he's playing lights out. You know, he's doing a heck of a job. It just makes it hard on defenses, man, to go out there and cover two guys that, that can play, you know, at an elite level in this league. So, well, we can keep this going. And, um, you know, Tony Gonzalez is, is just, I mean, he, he's killing the league right now. How does Gonzalez retire after this year, Roddy? I, I have no clue. I'm still asking him that right to this day. I'm like, you catch 13 balls in a game and you talk about retiring. Is he considering not retiring? I don't know. He said this is the last year. He said this is it. Uh, well, there's there's a hell of a lot of defensive players applauding if that's the case. But I, I just think if they offer him enough money, he'll come back. <laughs> <and play. laughs> uh, we were talking about a story of a rugby player who uh, got hit in the junk and um, a rup- ruptured a testicle. He still played in the game. Is there? Have you ever gotten injured? And it's tough to acknowledge the injury because you know you're going to be on national TV. No. <laughs> No, we've never done that. I mean, the NFL has so many rules on that stuff and what you can and what you cannot say, you know, so they kind of, you know, kind of hide things and 
and kind of wait and evaluate it and then kind of tell the people what's going yeah, on. Yeah, but if you get hit below the belt, you can't really hide that. Do you grab for something else if, you know, you, you got the wind knocked out of you there? Uh, I don't know how you hide that. That's, that's a tough one. And I don't <laughs> even know how you finish a game in that much pain. Have you, uh, well, yeah, I, I would think the same thing. Would you rather have a mild concussion or, or have that? I would rather have a mild concussion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good luck against the Raiders. Congrats. Uh, thanks for joining us, Roddy. All right. Thank you all for having me. All right. Roddy White, Falcons wide receiver. I'm watching Tony Gonzalez. I'm going, there's no way that guy can retire. He's a beast.